action. Hi, this is the Vulnerable Populations presentation by me, Dina Dukovic, for Nursing 447. It is fundamental to medicine and nursing that there are risk factors which convey an increased likelihood of disease occurrence. These have traditionally been thought of in terms of biological and lifestyle factors in individuals. When this is as far as the anal anal analysis goes, populations are merely aggregates of individuals. Vulnerability to disease in modern medicine and nursing is a concept that recognizes that social material and psychosocial factors are population level risk factors for disease, and that inequities in these areas are responsible for great disparities in health within and between groups of people. They are referred to as social determinants of health, and they are very powerful determinants of the incidence of a condition in a population. They are referred to as upstream factors. To emphasize the hierarchical relationship with individuals, individual level factors, social determinants of health are risk factors for risk factors, interventions that hope to address social determinants of health requires actions outside of the healthcare sector. Tuberculosis is chosen as an, as an example to show the relationships amongst a disease in its etiology, risk factors for the disease and social determinants of health. Vulnerability to a disease may be conveyed by virtue of individual level of risk factors, which are usually biological or lifestyle factors, or by virtue of population level risk factors or social determinants of health. On the slide, we will work upstream from right to left. The risk factors are mediated by either increasing exposure, decreasing resistance, or increasing likelihood of conversion from latent to active disease. Two of these risk factors are on our list of vulnerabilities. HIV as an infectious disease, and alcoholism, and addiction. These vulnerabilities are individual level factors. The other six vulnerabilities given for consideration are population level factors. Three of these are known to be associated with higher rates of TB. Poverty is known to increase the likelihood of each and every one of these risk factors. Homelessness is known to be associated within five of the risk factors. Migrant health, with three, social determinants are extremely important, and it has been said that TB will never be eradicated without addressing social determinants of health.